Today we're going to be walking the top of the Polaris Ice Farm Dan, Dam, which was uh, created by the Tahoe Ice Company in 1885. This dam was constructed by the Chinese after they were through with the Transcontinental Railroad. And you can see here that below us is a flat where they used to have some ice storage. And this is the face of the dam. This was all constructed by the Chinese by hand, so to have survived this long is pretty impressive. You can see the flats out here, some of the old debris, very little left of the ice storage. So this is a popular hiking trail on top of the dam. <laughs> And it, uh, we're going to film it as it happens, so real time. This is the ramp that led down to the uh, suspension bridge that crossed the Truckee River. And across the way would have been the Pink Palace, which was the office buildings, and then additional storage close to the railroad tracks. Here's one of the original power poles. It's got an angled top to shed snow. It's hard to see through the brush there, but this is definitely an old post. The ramp leading down to the suspension bridge, still intact. Beautiful view of the Truckee River, and you can see some of the rock walls that would have been the additional ice storage. Every so often there would have been platforms that jutted out from the dam top and I assume that's how they would ship ice across the river. That's the Transcontinental Railroad. When the trains arrived here in Truckee, they would load up with wooden crates to take down to the valley to load up with produce. And then when they came back, they would uh, load those crates up with ice for transport across the United States to other produce markets. Pretty funny, huh? We had snowfall the past few days, so you can see the peaks, Donner Summit, are white. Spectacular view of the river from here, because you're 
up perched up on a rock wall and here I'm going to show you just how vertical the wall is. remains of another loading platform that's collapsed, but you can see some of the original timbers. That's some real wood, huh, Tom? Not sure what was here, but you can see a little additional rock work. This would have been the holding pond for the ice farm. You can see it covers quite a few, <laughs> quite an area. Plenty of ice. The remains of another loading platform and perhaps an outlet. Downstream towards Reno and upstream towards Truckee. Yeah, that's this. This is what this is what the Chinese did after they did the uh, China Wall. So we are still, so we are still walking on top of the uh, Polaris Ice Farm Dam, and that has been filmed in real time. Eighteen eighty-five. That means it's almost one hundred and forty years old and still intact. Up ahead you can see the inlet where there's a little bit of a retaining wall. And since we're headed upstream, that means they had gravity to work filling up the ice farm. So we have been steadily climbing upriver, even though it's gentle. It's enough to fill this 
area up though. That little rise in the f is the location of where the gatekeeper's house was, and you could see a little mound right there, covered by sagebrush. This wooden structure coming up, though, is the inlet gate, and when we get there, I'll show you the ladder sluice that they use to raise and lower the gate. Looks like a jumble of wood now, but assume there was a, a crossing overhead. And then the gates, of course, had a screw mechanism to raise and lower the gate using a ladder system. That's one of the ladders that they would have used to hoist the sluice gate. And it's not a screw system, it would have been more of a large cogged wheel that they would have turned to lift the gate using the ladder system. But there it is, the entire, still intact, still there, and you can see where they would have had uh, two different entries and a way to control the water flow in. And of course now it's just a jumble of wood, but. You can see the rock flat up here where there would have been the gatekeeper's cabin. Kind of wish there was evidence of the uh, cogs, but oh well.